She doesn't do anything halfway. When we get to the state meet, state competition, she never goes into anything thinking there's more I could have done. I think passion is just really doing like what you want to do. I have passion for running. That's why I try my best at practice every day. I feel like if you have passion for something, you can exceed in it. I do believe that athletics has played a role in who she's become. I mean, it's a, I think it's given her a lot of confidence. I think it's really helped her you know, grow and mature. She loves to run as a team. They push each other when they're out on their runs. They use that as their social time, where most people wouldn't be able to talk when they're running. These girls talk and run. It's amazing. <laughs> Lauren's teammates love her probably the most, just how she fits in as one of the girls on the team. She's very humble. She's getting these photo shoots all over the place, and she's really living a different life than most kids. I think how you handle your success is, is very important to an individual. I think she does a really good job in handling it well. Lauren, it's been an honor to coach you for four years. I hope every runner I have is just like you as a person. If everyone comes in this determined, we're going to have a lot of kids maximize their potential just like you have. So thank you. Lauren, I just want to say I'm just so proud of you, not for track times or places at a meet, but for the person you've become, who you are, the heart you have, the help you give to others. I know you'll be doing great things and it will just continue from here. So I love you so much and again, just so happy and proud to be your mom. Lauren? Um, as your father, I'm very proud of you. I've always been very proud of you, not only for your athletic accomplishments, but everything you always do in life. And like I tell you all the time, Lauren, you're the best. <laughs>